Hi, I'm Benit Kimire and this video is about the third cross-site scripting vulnerability in a NASA subdomain. In my last two videos, I told you about NASA cross-site scripting through user agent and palm pills respectively. And in this third one, I'm going to show you cross-site scripting vulnerability in NASA subdomain through HTTP repair. And in my last two videos, I showed you about access vulnerabilities that existed on this subdomain, this same subdomain. And this single subdomain we are tons of access vulnerabilities and if you are thinking about looking for access vulnerabilities in NASA then I must recommend you to try on this subdomain because it is so much vulnerable that I am sure you will find at least 4 or 5 access vulnerabilities in this same single subdomain. So let's get on to the point of today's video and let's find out how this access vulnerability can be reproduced. So before getting started we need to know how we can insert a value for HTTP. Right now you can see there is nothing in HTTP referrer and to obtain a value for HTTP referrer there needs to be a subdomain, there is to be a website or anything like that that refers to this web page. There needs to be a web page that refers to the particular target web page to produce the HTTP referrer and HTTP referrer header is added in the request. So let's see how this vulnerability can be produced and for that I'm going to comments or suggestions. And since the last page is exception error web page and we need to produce an error right we don't have to submit this to the customer support section this is for customer support customer solutions we should not let this become successful we have to produce at any cost the error we have to produce an error at any cost and that's why we have to produce something malicious in this here web page we have to enter something malicious in this web page that has to produce an error and that's why we have to enter our access payload in this form as well so subject this is not going to produce any error and this is not this is not this is not going to produce any error like this i'm going to enter anything i want anything i want anything i want anything i want and this email look at that we can enter in email that is malicious that is containing access payload so that it is not taken as a valid email and it produces an error and that's why we are going to put our target as this email field so i'm going to create a payload for this email field like this spg on load equals so i'm going to paste this right over here and this is for email and this is for error And you can see this is not at any cost the email this is not an email at any cost so you can see i'm going to write email here to distinguish between the access payloads and here i'm going to write document and domain and i'm going to copy this payload and then i'm going to paste it in email and here i'm going to write notice and i'm going to open up bar proxy and i'm going to open i'm going to copy this payload as well I'm going here and I'm going to burp and now I'm going to intercept the request send this and you can see the request is captured and now I'm going to replace this referrer with my access payload and to distinguish between the payloads I have entered document or domain for referrer and slash email slash for email so let's see this produces two pop-ups or not if it produces only one then it means that is the email one is shown in my last video but it has produced this document domain a lot as well and that means the referrer access i have entered this a lot document domain in referrer header and that's why document domain needs to be allotted in the web page and that is going to prove that the access is in the http referrer header so i'm going to forward this request intercept up and look at that notice it is jlc.nasa.gov and this is the document domain and this means there is the execution of access payload in referrer header you can see and there is the email as well and this one is already shown in my last video but only thing we wanted at this place is the referrer header and it is successful look at that this is where the access payload is executed and this means the access exists in the referrer header as well HTTP referrer area the value of HTTP referrer header is inserted in this area of the web page and that is how this access vulnerability can be reproduced. And I hope you like this video and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Goodbye.